If you hear weird noises in the background, um, don't worry. I'm not under attack from Darth Vader. It's just my oxygen concentrator puffing away in the background. Um, I am now on my third week of IV antibiotics. Um, well over a month ago, I guess. <coughs> <coughs> My lung function was back down to 45%. And we tried some prednisone fluids that bumped me up to 47%. We tried a couple weeks of IV antibiotics, bumped me up to 48%. Um, so we went for a third week with a different antibiotic. And despite that, I somehow, two days ago, managed to start feeling worse. Um, I had been feeling a, a tiny bit better after two weeks, you know, a little less dependent on supplemental oxygen, um, a little less congested. But two days ago, all of a sudden, my oxygen started dropping again. Um, really short breath, feeling very tight in my chest. Not really sure what that's all about. So I, being a good patient, I emailed my doctor last night just to let them know. Um, also let them know that my knees have started aching, which a lot of times happens when I'm battling some sort of infection, when something's just not quite right. Um, I will have achy joints, so I let them know that too. And so today, they emailed me back and they were like, you might need to be hospitalized. And I was like, well, damn. So I now have an appointment tomorrow afternoon. We'll see what happens. I'm honestly feeling pretty beat down right now. I've really been feeling pretty crummy since November at this point. I think between November and now, I got maybe two weeks where I felt even a little bit decent. Um, and the rest of it has really been mostly varying degrees of dumpster fire. So going back in the hospital, really not what I wanted to hear. Also actually kind of like anxious about it because I'm kind of wondering what they're going to do for me there that I'm not already doing. I'm already on IV antibiotics. They can, the main thing they would do is, you know, give me a whole lot of nebulizers and chest PT, but I don't know. I'm kind of wondering like, what if I go in? <coughs> CF realness for you. Um, what if I go in and we try I don't know what and I still don't get anywhere? Like, you know, I really don't want a repeat of November where I was just in there for week after week after week because I wasn't making any progress. I um, really don't want that to happen again. Also, of course, because I have impeccable timing. Um, tomorrow night starts the Jewish holiday of Purim, which is actually a super fun holiday that I would really rather not miss. Um, I did tell them that if I do end up being admitted, I don't want to be admitted until Thursday afternoon at the earliest because the holiday starts Wednesday night. So most of the stuff is happening like Wednesday night, Thursday morning, and then like Thursday afternoon. So I would be okay with going in later Thursday afternoon. Um, if for some reason they decide tomorrow that things are desperate enough that they have to admit me right away, I might throw things because I really don't want to spend another holiday in the hospital. Um, 
So yeah, not exactly an uplifting update, but I'm not feeling very uplifted right now. So hopefully, hopefully I'll, I'll get my mojo back soon. Sitting in clinic right now, waiting to see the doctor. I just had my PFTs, my pulmonary function tests done. And once again, I have the incredible ability to actually lose lung function while on IV antibiotics. Um, last week I was 48% and today I am 42%. So that's not good. So pretty sure the hospital is in my future. Um, not really so happy about that. Also not really sure what else they're going to do for me because we've tried a lot of stuff and it hasn't really been getting me anywhere. But I will see the doctor soon and we will find out what our next step is. Well, as expected, I am being admitted to the hospital. A tried to direct admit me today, but there were no beds available. <coughs> and since Purim starts tonight, they had mercy on me and told me to go home and not spend my whole holiday sitting in the ER. So I will be doing Purimness tonight, tomorrow, and tomorrow they're going to Again, try to direct it to me, and if that fails, then tomorrow afternoon I will be going to the ER so that I can be admitted that way, which I really hope doesn't come to that because I hate the ER um, because that will involve spending many, many, many hours sitting and waiting for a bed to open, which is not fun at all. Um, my record his last time, I think it took 29 hours to get me a bed. And it has never taken me less than 12 hours to get a bed. Um, so here's hoping that direct admit works. I did ask, what exactly do they think they can accomplish in the hospital that we're not already doing? And she said, a lot of it is more easy access to diagnostics, testing, all the kind of stuff that they want to do. Um, and that it's easier to make quick changes to my medication. Um, they obviously want to switch up my antibiotic regimen, but that's a lot easier to do if I'm in the hospital and they can make quick decisions, quick changes. Um, so they want to do that. <coughs> <coughs> The big things on the agenda, I think, are a CAT scan of my lungs. Um, there is some concern that I might have a pulmonary embolism, which is a blood clot in the lungs. So they want to do a CAT scan to check for that. Um, see if I have a pneumonia. Other, you know, possible issue that they're thinking about is, do I have aspiration pneumonia? Um, I do have really bad reflux, and I do use a feeding tube overnight, so I'm basically eating while I'm sleeping, even though I do elevate the head of my bed. Um, they're worried that I might be aspirating reflux while I'm sleeping, and that that's causing pneumonia, and that that's why I'm not responding to anything, um, because I just keep doing it. They're floating the idea of changing my G-tube to a GJ tube. Right now I have a G-tube. My feeding tube goes directly into my stomach. Um, if they switch it to a G-J-tube, the J-tube goes farther down into the intestines a little bit. And it's, so it bypasses the stomach, less chance of reflux. Um, apparently that's a very easy switch to make. And if I'm already in the hospital, they can just take care of that. Um, so that's something that might also happen. And of course, lots of nebulizers and chest PT, because what's a tune-up without lots of nebulizers and chest PT? So that's the current plan, but tonight at least I get to enjoy Purim festivities 
and part of tomorrow, I get to enjoy perm festivities um, before all the drama goes down. So I really didn't have it in me this year to pull together any sort of perm costume, um, but I do have this super fun hat that I bought a few years ago and never wore, and today I discovered that it comes with a tail, which is a super fun, unexpected bonus. So I am getting ready to go to McGill reading. And Frail and Purim. So today actually went so much better than I expected. Um, started off the morning with a phone call saying that miraculously they had a room for me and I did not have to go sit in the ER. So that was awesome. The nurse was actually shocked that they managed to get me a room. And I told her that it was obviously a Purim miracle that that happened. Um, and then I did not end up getting the call to come in until like four o'clock. So I was able to do all my morning Purim festivities and go have my Suda because the Suda I was going to was at 12 o'clock. So I was able to have my full Suda and not be interrupted. Um, so I got my full Purim on and now I am in the car on the way to the hospital. So I am going to wrap this video up here. Stay tuned for further hospital adventures.